Hello, Happy New Year and welcome to 2024. A little while ago, I obtained a BS2 divider from the specials table at one of the local machinery dealers. With some parts missing, it turned out not to be quite the bargain I'd expected, but that's another story. I mounted a 200mm 3 jaw chuck on the back plate that came with the divider and I modified a 200mm platen from a rotary table which I can use as a face plate. To complete the asset, I want to make a back plate to mount a 200mm 4 jaw chuck. G'day and welcome to the Outback Shed. I'm going to use the four jaw chuck that I've had for many years. It hasn't seen any use for some time and as I have other chucks that I can use on the Colchester and Sheraton, this will be a good use for it. The register for the back plate is 124.5mm which seems like an odd size. I have a piece of 2011 aluminium which is 140mm in diameter but it will need to be cut down to length. To install a 3 jaw chuck on the back plate that came with the divider, I needed to machine a register on the back plate. To do this, I made a spindle replica as an adapter that can be held in a larger 4 jaw chuck. I will need that for this project. The bandsaw has a capacity to cut 225mm rounds, so this piece is well within its capacity. I'm using the 10 inch 3 jaw chuck with the outside jaws mounted. The first task will be to drill a hole through the centre. I'm using a 29mm drill to open up a hole big enough to get in with a boring bar. The next job will be to face the end and clean up the edge.
this is the divider edge. So after a reference cut to set the DRO, I'll bring it close to size and use a 6mm form tool to finish the back. This is a nice tool and it does do a good job, but it produces a very stringy swarf. This insert is not holding up too well, so I'll have a closer look at it under the microscope. Two of the edges are badly worn. I'll use the remaining new edge to cut the register. Chamfers all around and I'll cut the thread. I put a coat of die chem in the bore so that I can zero the DRO. I can also see the progression of the thread. This is a metric lathe with a metric lead screw, so I need to reverse the tool and not use the thread dial indicator as this is an imperial thread with 8 teeth per inch. Time to set the spindle nose adapter and line it up in the four jaw chuck.
This wolf tends to bird's nest, a good reason to keep the chuck guard in place. I know most people take them off, but I prefer to keep mine in place. One final pass and it's done. I set the back plate up on the mill table and centre the spindle using the DRO with an electronic centre finder. I'll bring the spindle to the center and set the DRO to circle mode. The first request is to confirm the spindle is centered. The next is to confirm the PCD. For this project it is 104.5 millimeters. Next is the number of holes and that's going to be four. Then the starting angle from the x-axis, enter 0 to confirm. And the end angle, again enter 0 to confirm. Good to go. The DRO now shows the location of each of the four holes and the coordinates for the x and y axes. Hole 1 is selected and I'll bring the table across to 0 at the coordinates and draw the hole. With these scales, the DRO has an accuracy of 5 microns, which is more accurate than needed, certainly for this job. I'll 
I'll centre drill each hole, then drill, chamfer and tap each one and turn. The machining is complete, now to mount the back plate to the chuck. The spindle adapter mounted on the four jaw means that I can mount the face plate, the three jaw chuck or the four jaw into the lathe and turn apart. Then transfer the chuck with the part intact to mount it directly into the divider. This will guarantee accuracy of any features I've machined into the part on the mill. This is particularly useful for gears and other parts requiring precision. For all this divider was not the bargain I'd hoped for, it's now complete and is a very versatile piece of tooling. I have a BS1 divider that I've had since the mid 1980s. Being smaller, I made a spindle adapter for the Colchester. It has a cam lock mount for the spindle and a 1.5 by 8 thread on the other end to take either a 160mm 3 jaw or a 200mm 4 jaw chuck. I made two other spindle adapters. One is a replica of the spindle on my wood lathe, which gives me the ability to machine items for that machine, and the other matches a spinning indexer. These are very useful additions which greatly increase the versatility of the divider. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video and found it of value. 
If so, please consider subscribing and liking. Be productive, be creative, but most importantly, be safe in your shed. Catch you next time.